All right, guys, so we're going to do a cast iron dish again this evening. We have some caribou with us tonight, which we'll be making some wonderful caribou stew. Uh, Vivian will be making some fresh homemade bannock here. You guys can check that out if you stick around. And uh, the next thing we need to do is to get the fire going outside. And I need to take my caribou that I have and fry it up in the pan. So let's get that going. All right, so I'm going to add some butter here to my cast iron Dutch oven. I'm going to allow that to melt. Okay, next I'm going to add our caribou. I'm going to get started on making the bannock. So I have two cups of flour in here and one teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt already pre-mixed. So I'm going to put some in here, save a little bit, put some water in there, mix it until it gets a little bit doughy. This is the part where I use my hands, like this, so it doesn't get sticky. I kind of knead it a little bit. So this can make two small bannocks. Just squeeze it in the middle like that. And next we're going to put some lard inside the skillet. Next step is getting the skillet warm up on the fire. All right, so we're gonna move right along to adding the vegetables into the caribou stew. So today we're just doing some pretty basic ingredients. We have some celery. We have some mushrooms.
Let me have some carrots. And of course, some fresh rosemary. And lastly, we have some rutabaga. Okay, so we have a little peek here. See how this is looking so far. Oh yeah. Perfect for me. So I'm gonna add some spices here. Just gonna add some garlic powder. I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt. You can't go wrong with some cracked black pepper. Add a dash of thyme, dried thyme leaves. Next will be some beef broth. We're actually going to do two of these today. in our vegetables. Finish it off with our fresh rosemary. I'm gonna add in some of our small potatoes here. And that should be it. So we're gonna add this back to fire outside and let this stew for maybe about another maybe hour hour and a half I'm gonna try to keep it on a light simmer by adjusting the height of the Dutch oven off the grill and by controlling how much wood we have in the fire the beautiful thing about cast iron of course that it holds heat so it's amazing for cooking and equal heat distribution It's golden brown. <laughs> and that's how we do it, I guess.
Nice. Perfect. <laughs> so in the meantime, we're just waiting for our stew to finish boiling or cooking over there. And uh, we have some tea made here that we'll be enjoying. And uh, supper should be ready in maybe 35 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so we're at about an hour and a half on this uh, caribou stew. Smells amazing. Smells so good. So I think we're done, eh? Take it in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So that looks delicious. Oh delicious. my. Let's have a look here. Oh yeah. So I think it's time for us to dig in. It's gonna take a little bit for this to cool down because it's literally boiling hot. <laughs> but once we get into it, we'll report back and let you know how it tastes. All right, guys, so we've been into this already. It's mm. just cooled down enough that where we can actually enjoy it. I think I burned my mouth the first few spoonfuls. <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> the broth is delicious. Everything about this is just flavorful. Uh, like I mentioned in the last Dutch oven video that we had done, cooking with cast iron is amazing. Put all of your favorite flavors, all of your favorite foods in there. Cast iron does its magic, and you end up with an amazing meal. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, I actually haven't even tried the bannock yet. Let me give this a go. It's pretty delicious. I can imagine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Nice and soft. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nothing beats caribou stew and bannock. No. So we're going to be uh, spending the night out here tonight. As you guys noticed, we brought all of our gear in. So we have our sleeping bags over. We have our um, mattress and a bunch of other gear. Uh, in that opening clip, we had to um, extend the uh, height of the stovepipe. We were having some issues with some smoke in the tent here, and I suspect by increasing it by an additional 24 inches, we should create enough draft to suck the smoke out of here. Mm -hmm. Still, uh, with this new stove, we still need to do a little bit of fine tuning, so that will be um, something I'll be doing in upcoming videos. Uh, as for tonight, we're just gonna relax, turn the camera off, and just enjoy our first night out here at the winter camp for the season. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some more videos coming out this week, so make sure you do check back Looks like my posting schedule right now seems to be Mondays and Thursdays for the most part. I'm trying to get Sundays in as well. So uh, if I can maintain that schedule, I'll be feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I have a surprise for the next video uh, that will be coming out. I have someone coming out to visit me at the camp here. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be shooting a video and posting that. I'm not sure when that will go up, but make sure you do click that subscribe button and bell notification to make sure you miss that. It's gonna be a great video. And other than that, we're gonna uh, enjoy our food kick off our boots, drink our tea, eat our food, listen to some music, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. So I do appreciate you guys coming back to check out another video. Like I mentioned, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification, make sure you do share and like. If you're not following us on Facebook, the link for that is in the description box down below. If you're not following me on Face, sorry, on Instagram, I keep <laughs> screwing this up. <laughs> if you're not following me on Instagram, my link for that down there is uh, as well. So make sure you do follow me over there at Dave's True Life. And other than that, you guys stay safe out there. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>